Good morning, everybody. Uh, appreciate you being here. Excited about uh, the kickoff to our fall camp. Uh, a lot of work's gone into uh, to building towards this moment. They're really, really pleased with our football team, all the work that they did throughout the summer uh, program. Uh, Coach Storms and his staff, uh, you know, Marissa, nutrition. I mean, it's just been remarkable to see our guys uh, continue to grow, not only physically, uh, but, uh, you know, in, in every way. And, uh, you know, we've had a great summer. Uh, excited about the position we're in, you know, as we, as we enter fall camp. Uh, going to be a lot of competition. Um, you know, we've, we've scheduled our fall camp to truly maximize you know, you know, each moment. Um, you're trying to, trying to maximize repetition uh, with, a, with a lot of young players, some new faces. Uh, there's gonna be a, uh, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a great, uh, great experience for all of us involved to, to see you know, the growth that's taking place. And that's one of the things that I think um, you know, is, is, a, is a great indicator to, to the mindset and the identity of your football team is to see that growth from when we finished up in April to where we are uh, you're taking the field tomorrow and as, and as we progress through the next 25 practices uh, in those opportunities. But uh, really pleased with, uh, with the work from the guys. You, I, can, I can tell you that we're a much more confident football team uh, you know, coming in uh, to fall camp. Uh, I think confidence is built off the work that you're willing to invest. And this team has invested up to this point, um, but it's going to be a daily challenge. It's going to be a daily push to uh, truly establish that, that identity that we want to have as we move forward uh, into the 21 football season. And, um, you know, I'm excited about this group and uh, you know where we're heading. Coach, I think you guys started the, the same time last season, but your opener was a week later. Uh, can you kind of maybe walk us through your your setup for the schedule this season? Why you started what you're starting? Yeah, it's you know last year was a little bit of uh, adjust of when adjusted when we could have some of the walkthroughs and, and things like that. You know, this is a more traditional. Uh, traditional set we have uh, 25 practices in 29 uh, in 29 days so we have our mandated days off um, you know so we've we've structured the things that have changed uh, with within uh, you know college uh, college football is the number of helmet practices you know kind of uh, uh, I think we have seven helmet practices uh, that we are, are mandated to have so that's we kind of spread those out strategically uh, and how we want to utilize those uh, the nine uh, the, the nine uh, full pad practices um, it's going to be something that, that we're excited to, to uh, be able to get into to, and you know we're we're evaluating all those things, and so we had to kind of restructure a little bit as a coaching staff. Um, but you know, all in all, it's it's pretty similar to what I've done throughout the throughout the years. But uh, uh, there were some adjustments due to new rules and uh, kind of regulations to to how we need to how we're going to have to take the field and, and the uh, equipment and apparel that we're going to wear. Uh, you mentioned on the opening statement confidence and seeing that kind of build and materialize over the off season. I guess, how do you see that progressing? Like, how do you how do you weigh or, or measure confidence from what you're watching through growth here? You know, I, I think it's a daily approach. Um, you know, as you, there's never I've never been a part of a team that didn't you know when asked say that they were confident. You know, everybody everybody in college football believes that they're confident. Uh, true confidence comes from what's been invested and how they approach every day. Uh, when you know that you're going to go into a summer workout and it is going to challenge you for uh, the next hour and a half, two hours, um, and you do it with the with the smile on your face and the right mindset, and you're willing to go and give everything that you have uh, because that you know that you can, or the, and that you've done it before, uh, that's that's where that true confidence shows up. And so uh, you know, it's really the way that they're 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 coming into the building. It's the uh, it's a mindset that they have, and you know, and even in those moments, you know, throughout the summer where it was. It truly jumped on them, and uh, just the way they were responding. And so, you know, we're we're a young football team. Uh, you know, we're we're a team that has to continue to come together uh, with some of the newcomers that have joined the program, and just build that build that confidence through the relationships. And I think these guys have invested a lot when it comes to that off the field, away from this facility. And uh, you know, I'm excited to see that play out. Is is that platinum? Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, have, have you guys decided what you're going to do? There was talk about maybe taking the camp to another location. Are you going to be able to do that? And, and if so, what do you accomplish with that? Yeah, you know, can't really get into specifics uh, on that right now, but uh, I do see value in that. It's something I've done throughout my coaching career. Um, I, I think you know when you can change the when you can change the location, change the scenery. Um, you know, it, we have uh, uh, an opportunity to truly come together. And uh, you know, fall camp it's it's a great time. It's you know, all focus on football, uh, team, the the the, the team building uh, opportunities that we have, um, but getting to know each other. 
and you know, even you look from last year to this year and to some of the new faces, um, it's going to be great for our coaching staff, for our, for our players, uh, for those guys just to, to be able to um, you know, kind of eliminate all distractions. And you know, sometimes just being at home and, and being in the normal uh, routine to, to be able to shake it up a little bit. Because you know we're going to have to be great on the road this year. We're going to we're going to be going into situ into environments and situations that you know there's some things that we can control and can't control. So um, you know at, at the end of the day, it's just you know, as many of those experiences that we can have uh, throughout fall camp, and uh, you know, that's going to help build that confidence, which we talked about earlier. And I think those I think that provides a great opportunity, and um, you know it'll be a, be a special uh, experience for our guys. Hey Mike, in your opening statement, you talked about wanting to see growth. What are some specific areas of growth that you want or need to see this this fall? Well, you know, just the consistency, uh, the consistency, and how we how we utilize the fundamentals and techniques. Um, you know, it was something that was big you know, throughout spring ball. That uh, you know, I saw, uh, I did see the positive steps. Um, you know, you whenever you finish the the fifteenth practice of, of spring ball, you know, you're still outlining uh, the, the the necessary steps that we've got to see from from our team at each position, at, with each individual, uh, from the exit meetings that we get to have as coaches, and uh, you know, to see that that application. You know, there's a lot of work that goes that goes on outside of the eight hours that, that we were able to have these guys through the summer program but to see that that consistency show up you know on the field in the job the understanding of, of their uh, the, their responsibility throughout each concept whether it's offense defense or special teams and guys just playing together you know going out every day you know, being the best version of them and then you know, you know truly having a purpose behind every rep that we take um, you know I want to be a relentless football team and you know the only way you're going to be a relentless football team is I mean you got to practice relentless you got to meet relentless you, everything you have to do has to have that purpose because that that's going to form that identity and uh, you know, I think our guys have done a good job with that through the workouts in the summer uh, but you know you you know fall camp is, is it's going to be critical and um, you know our guys you know that's going to be a big area that we have to continue to improve uh, Mike you, uh, at Memphis your your staff will be poached occasionally after each year uh, w with this staff how uh, how beneficial is it to have so much continuity from one season to the next I'm sure it's a nice a, a nice pleasure for you that you haven't probably had that much in your career. Uh, I mean, it's the first time as a head coach that I've had all ten assistants, uh, you know, back uh, in in consecutive years, and um, you know, it's it, it's something that helps me, you know, just with uh, uh, what to expect. These guys, they have a they have great understanding of the uh, uh, the philosophical beliefs of the why, and then we're still continuing to push each other to get better. And uh, you know, but the communication aspect of it, the uh, you know, just the, the overall understanding of the flow of how we're going to operate, and it's it's really uh, it's been good because we have a much better sense of who our team is now coming into fall camp than what we did a year ago. And you know, we we've been able to really fine tune some of the things that we're going to ask them ask them to do, whether it's in the the practice. Whether it's in the walkthroughs that we're going to have, uh, we got a very specific, you know, um, you know, plan and format of, of what we what we're hopeful to see, and you know, everybody kind of goes into it, you know, knowing what to expect, and uh, really can, uh, I think, accelerate that process for our players just because of the continuity of the staff. Coach, uh, obviously, uh, everything a lot is focused on the fall camp, but um, going into this season. You guys have done extremely well as far as spring and summer and recruiting. Uh, let talk about your excitement level of recruiting going into the season because it seems like a lot of kids, every kid I talk to, it's like relationships, that's all they talk about, and uh, they want to see what you, your product's going to be on the field. Talk about just going into the season with recruiting and how it is right now. I mean, well, that's what it's all about. I mean, you know, when it, when I – the day, first day I got the job here, I talked about those relationships, and, uh, and probably no different than what any coach would have said. But uh, you know, like I told the high school coaches, you know, each prospect, it's our job to show them. And uh, you know, everybody's going to talk about a priority of where we're going to recruit, what we're going to recruit, how we're going to recruit. But at the end of the day, it's you know, it's about that that consistent action. And uh, you know, it was a it was a tremendous joy to be able to get kids here on campus. We went 15 straight months without uh, without that opportunity, and um, you know, and we had a very specific plan of what we wanted to do. And uh, the, the first year uh, with that signing class, we want to get the best football players that could come in and help impact our program, and, and that, that you know, we're going to have some versatility and, and guys that we had a, uh, um, a familiarity with. Moving forward, we, we spent a lot of time focused on the 22, the 23, uh, you know, those classes of, of really getting to know those kids early and building a relationship with the coaches, being able to to, uh, to connect in, in, in all ways that we were that we're allowed to. And I think that's we're seeing that payoff. And when kids you know, go from the virtual experience to getting here on campus, uh, being around our, our staff, uh, you know, face to face, being able to feel the energy, talking to our players, watching the way that our players, uh, the way that they work and, and how they how they uh, um, 
you know, really kind of mesh and gel together. Um, you know, it's it's not just about selling a vision. It's about them coming to see how that how that process is being put into place. And uh, you know, I think uh, that's why a lot of guys are are um, you know excited to be a part of it. And uh, you know, we're uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with where we are at this time. Hey, Mike, where are you guys at health-wise going into camp? And specifically, is there any kind of an update you can give us on Emmett Rice and his status? Uh, I feel good about where we are health-wise. Uh, I think Coach Storms and, and his crew have done a done a great job, um, you know, in just in helping our guys. You know, whether there's some guys that entered the summer, you know, in, in rehab, uh, you, uh, you know, with where they were on you know, coming off of injuries from the summer. There's some guys that will be a little bit limited here at the uh, at the at the start. But uh, um, all in all, as a team, I feel really good about uh, you know, where we are from uh, uh, from a health from a health perspective. Uh, I tell you, Emmett's done a done a really nice job uh, throughout his process. You know, we are expecting Emmett to. to to be a part of uh, of this team here uh, and being able to impact us, you know, here this fall, we'll see where that where that goes. I mean, it's you know he had he had uh, um, you know it was a little bit of a longer um, you know rehabilitation process, but uh, you know, he is ahead of schedule. He's he's sitting in a great spot. Uh, he's been a part of workouts uh, throughout the summer, but you know, we're going to see and make sure that uh, that he's fully ready to go before we we get him out there. But I, I like where he's at. At quarterback, you got the two guys you took to kick off and two more who got some valuable experience last year. I was wondering, I guess, where things stand there entering and I guess how reps are going to be distributed coming into fall camp. Well, you know, we're going to be unique in, in uh, you know, how we're practicing, uh, you know, here these first few days. Um, and then uh, you also, you know, the, making sure that those guys, you know, do get an opportunity to show their growth. And, um, you know, everything's going to be evaluated. It's, a, you know, I've been a part of you know, many uh, uh, quarterback competitions and, uh, you know, I've Feel very confident in that we're gonna we're gonna find the right guy or guys that uh, that can help impact our football team uh, to put us in the best position to w to win games and so uh, that's going to be something that uh, you know, throughout throughout fall camp uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna mix that up we're gonna give every every um, you know quarterbacks and have an opportunity to uh, to get reps with you know with the first group and and you know, show what they're able to do and um, you know as as their performance sh shows I mean that the, those those opportunities are going to continue to expand for them uh, you know as they as they earn them. Now that uh, Coach Shannon's been here for a few months, uh, what kind of an impact has he had on the program? Just having a former head coach and longtime defensive coordinator in the program, yeah, he just brings us such a great perspective. And uh, you know, for our coaches, um, you know, you know, my relationship with them. I mean, you, uh, we got who I who I believed we were getting, and I'd always heard great things about Coach Shannon. And uh, you know, in any of our uh, you know previous uh, you know conversations or or um, you know those mutual relationships, and uh, you know we. We got the right guy, and uh, you know he has been incredible for our staff. Uh, the working relationship with him and uh, you know Coach Fuller and the rest of the defensive staff, as well as uh, you know just uh, program wide and, and helping you know build those relationships throughout the throughout the state. Um, you know it's just it, it, definitely glad to have him, and uh, you know, excited about you know what he'll be able to do uh, within our staff here uh, this upcoming season. Hey, Coach, um, when you wanted to deliver a message this summer through the players, which players did you identify to, to do that for you? You know, it's one of the things that we did this uh, you know, after spring, and, uh, you know, it was – it's actually the first time I've done this in our uh, – uh, in my coaching career, uh, is we we had a, we have a team council, and uh, it's something that was voted on you know by the players. Uh, you know I think that to to be able to provide them with a voice, uh, to be able to have a group that um, you know we met you know we met uh, you know separately uh, throughout the course of the summer. I think it was six seven times um, that those guys came together, and uh, we were able to get more in depth of defining the why we do things. So we were able to talk about uh, you know different uh, um, you know thoughts and, and perspectives you know from the players on on you know experiences they're having areas that we're seeing growth areas that we need to see more growth and I thought that was uh, I thought that was really special and um, you know I was, I'm excited about how that's going to continue to develop through fall camp as we get into summer but uh, you know it's it's all about being one team together players coaches everybody involved and uh, you know so that player council was something that we, we we relied on and you see guys really taking ownership of this team you know we want to be coach inspired we want to be player led all right, it's our job to inspire guys to push themselves uh, to the limit of what they can do on the field, off the field, in the classroom. It's 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 our team's job, those players' job, to make sure that man they're helping lead that with the proper actions. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's taking a lot of ownership for those guys, and uh, I think we're seeing a, a nice return on that. 
Hey, Mike, wanted to get your thoughts on the offensive line, how they're developing, what Coach Atkins has done with that group, and how, in addition, like a Dylan Gibbons brings some seniority and just experience to a group that still is relatively young across the board. Yeah, I mean, that's a group I'm really excited about. And, uh, you know, I think in, in, in our first year, we were able to see some growth. And, um, you know, we had a lot of young faces that, that were, you know, that were some of them were forced into action probably a, a little quicker than, you know, what you would probably you know, desire. But, you know, through that experience, you know, they, they were able to build some confidence in what to expect and they're also able to uh, to get a, a real perspective of what they need to get better at uh, you know to to put themselves in the best position to to, um, to, to improve and to play the level that we want to play this year so um, you know I, I, I'm excited about that group we're current return all of our uh, you know I mean, I think it's dang near 100% of our product productivity uh, in the offensive line, and being able to add, you know, uh, uh, you know, Dylan, and then a couple of newcomers that have, that have joined that I think are going to uh, provide uh, some immediate, uh, some immediate help, and uh, you know, also giving guys an opportunity to grow and develop. I mean, you look at uh, Maurice Smith; I think has had an exceptional summer. You know, a guy like Bavion Johnson, who's been here for a long time, that's that is really. Uh, I mean, he has totally embraced the, the things that we're asking him to do. And you look at his, I mean, from his body weight to, to you know, his, his uh, overall understanding of the offense, I mean, the, the want to, to, coming back for a six year. Um, I mean, those guys that, you know, they might not get, get highlighted as much in, in conversation, but I'm mean, really excited about what they're doing. Uh, you know, Dante Lucas is a guy that has a lot of experience, but we've really challenged uh, to take his game to the next level. And, um, you know, I think you, you take that, that, that youth, um, it coupled with some of the uh, you know the older guys, uh, you know like Devonte, like a Dylan Givens that have that have seen it, that have played. It's really uh, really assisting those guys, uh, you know that that are a little bit younger in their college career. Hi, Coach. I just wanted to ask you just about the benefits you're expecting from hiring Kenyatta Watson, and also the benefits you've seen in recruiting so far. You know, having Ryan Barto as well. You know, just in that push in recruiting. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think it's been great, you know, and uh, being able to get you know quality personnel, um, you know, Kenyatta, what he brings to the program, uh, I believe it's a it's a um, it's it's a great dynamic for us, you know, being our director of player relations. He's a former. A college student athlete that uh, yeah, played at a very high level has got a, had an opportunity to, to to experience the National Football League, but also you know spent his you know spent his, his lifetime being able to impact impact a community, be able to impact youth. He's a former high school uh, uh, high school coach that uh, you know did did wonders for uh, for the youth that he was able to to be around, and uh, you know just such a. Um, it comes with such an incredible reputation, um, especially within the, the Georgia area. But you know, he's he is just uh, he's done wonders in a very short period of time. Just being a part of this staff, uh, guys like Ryan Barto and and you know our our support staff. Uh, you know, it's about hiring good people. It's about uh, you know building those relationships. If that's what we're going to be be about, uh, then you know being able to make you know to have guys here that are going to be able to make that impact and connecting the pieces and and uh, you know connecting us you know even you know further in different communities and uh, you know I think it's paid off really well. We got to see three different guys swing the sledgehammer. I guess based on social media, Stephen Dix Jr., Fabian, and Devontae Love Taylor. I guess what have you seen from those three individually, and what kind of feedback have you gotten from them throughout the off season? Yeah, just cr incredible investment. You know, uh, Devontae, you know, he's he's one of those guys we talked about that was a little bit limited just to, through through rehabilitation, but I mean was consistent every single day, making a positive impact. Whether it's his rehab, uh, the the uh, the growth that we're seeing there. I mean, his availability and um, you know, but just the leader that he is, and uh, it was really. Uh, really pleased to see him selected as, as a guy to, to, to swing the um, swing the hammer and uh, kind of be able to do that. And Fabian love it. Um, you know, I, I'm expecting such big things out of him this year, and uh, he is uh, he he is truly taking that next step in his game. I mean, I thought he had a really really good spring practice. Um, you you look at his body and what he's done through the through the summer. I mean, his buy-in is, is at an all-time high. Uh, you know, I think he can be a, a, a great contributor for us there up front. And and then Stephen Dix, a young guy that. Uh, I mean, you see what he's done with his body and, and uh, you know, kind of the investment that he's made. I think he's gained close to 30 pounds since he's been here. Um, and there's not really any fat on his body. I mean, he is a uh, well put together young man. But, uh, you know, just that, just the confidence in that as a player. You know, he's one of those guys he started majority of the season as, at Mike Linebacker as a true freshman. Um, it's not it's it's not always a fun experience, uh, you know, to, to have to go through. But uh, you know, I think I think he's he's really you know taking the next steps in his investment of what he's doing in the in the meeting rooms. Uh, you know, being able to carry that over the field. I mean, it's going to be fun watching him uh, continue to develop here this this fall camp and uh, you know the, the player that he's going to continue to emerge to be. 
Uh, you talked at kickoff about kind of getting closer to that 85% vaccinated threshold every day. I wonder if you could provide any kind of update about where you're at, because obviously it seems the protocols vaccinated versus unvaccinated are going to be pretty staggering this year. Yeah, and we're continuing to, to get closer to, to those thresholds. And, uh, you know, our guys, uh, you know, they they understand uh, you know, what's ahead of us and, um, you know, the protocols and things that will be in place that we're, we're going to have in place. But uh, I'll say that we're definitely getting closer uh, each and every day. Hey, Mike, uh, Texas and Oklahoma to the SEC isn't going to affect you guys on the field this, this season, obviously, but I'm curious about the recruiting impact. You guys recruit in Texas in the Southeast. Um, how do you expect that to make an impact, if at all? Hey, you know, for us, it's it's all about Florida State, and uh, you know we've got we've got one of the strongest uh, brands in all of college football. Uh, we, we get to we get to you know be here in Tallahassee, which is an extraordinary city community, um, and uh, you know just the, the the whole experience of what it is to be a, a collegiate student athlete here at at FSU. So. Um, you know, there's, it's a new it's a new day in in college athletics. There's a lot of movement. There's always going to be uh, you know different things that uh, that you have to adapt and adjust with. But for us, when it comes to recruiting, uh, this is a special place, and um, you know, that really doesn't hold a, a lo whole lot of uh, weight with what we're we're working to do. Hey, coach. Just uh, hate to keep bringing up vaccinations, COVID, that kind of thing. But have you given the team any guidelines about what they can and cannot do? Are you trying to keep them in a bubble more this year? I mean, Doak's going to be at full capacity, which is exciting. But there's always that kind of looming threat that the season could be taken away again. You know, we're going to have we're going to have all of our team protocols and things that we do uh, within the building. You know, there's part of uh, being a, a collegiate student athlete. There's sacrifices that you always have to make, and uh, whether you're going through you know things that we're experiencing uh, you know as a world in COVID or you know just in in normal day to day. So I mean, our guys understand the expectation. Um, you know, we're going to we're going to continue to to do all the things that we can do to uh, to protect this football team and the individuals that are a part of it. But uh, uh, you know, we're excited about what ahead. Uh, Tate and Chuba put out a humorous video yesterday. Did I know you know that Tate's that kind of an athlete. I don't think most people did. When did you realize, did you guys know, how early did you realize that he was that kind of athlete? I mean, uh, you know, I've, I've known that pretty much since we, since we recruited him. I mean, he is, you know, he's probably, uh, you know, one of the, one of the players that gets the, you know, that people don't understand, you know, just the athleticism and uh, uh, the type of movements of what what he has. I get to watch him work out every day, and uh, I mean, I think he's got a huge ceiling in what he can do, and um, you know, just his understanding. That, you know, him and Chuba, the thing people miss out on is they both had to start games for us last year as true freshmen with really no no foundation to go into a, a season to have to do that. And um, so there were, there were some really you know, bright moments and there were some moments that they had to learn from. And uh, you know, it, wasn't, it wasn't always fun for them, but uh, you know, they, they've been able to take those experiences and just the way that they respond to it, who they are. Um, and we got a really impressive quarterback room and uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see those guys continue to grow and compete together. But yeah, they definitely uh, pretty good athletes too. Coach, I know you're always excited when you get first-year kids on campus, but is there a different level of like urgency or, or curiosity you have when communicating with your strength staff when it's transfers that are your first-year guys on campus? Yeah, you know, it was. it's important for us, and it was a priority for us to get as many of those guys in in January as we could. And I thought we did a, a really nice job of uh, uh, being able to do that. And so um, that helped with some of the transition and for us to get a better understanding of who these guys were. Now we did add some, some guys here in the, uh, um, you know, in the summer that uh, you know, we ex are fully expecting to help our football team at a high level. And uh, you got to be smart, you know, especially guys that just got here, the, of you know, where they are with the, uh, throughout their summer training because they haven't been here uh, the way that we practice, the way that we push. So we're going we're gonna to be able to um, – you know, maybe modify some things as we bring them along, but uh, I can tell you that you know the guys make a, a very uh, uh, impactful, uh, um, I guess, uh, perspective to who they are in a very short period of time. I, I can tell you, after the first day, uh, Josh Storms t texted me about Marcus Cushioning, and uh, he was really, really excited. And uh, you know, just to see his movements, to see his strength, um, you know, it's we've got the right guys, and we've been very selective in who we brought in, uh, not only as the players they are, but the type of young men that these guys are and, uh, you know, just, just bringing them along and uh, allowing them to gel with this team and to, to be able to play to the best of their ability. We have time for a couple more. We'll go to Chris. 
On the defensive side of the ball, how much do you look back at last year and try to learn from it? And how much of it do you just kind of throw away and move on with a lot of new personnel in a much more normal offseason to prepare that group? You know, and we, we evaluated a lot of that throughout the I mean, throughout the year. Um, you know, I think you saw you saw different moves. I mean, we we played so many different people, especially in the defensive backfield last year. I think it was 11 defensive backs played over 100 snaps. That's not a recipe for success. It is uh, that was um, something that we had, you know, whether it was injuries or different different circumstances. So um, going into the spring, you know, we had a we had a, a much better understanding of who we had, um, you know, guys that we're able to bring into the program and how we could best position them uh, for what we're going to see and and what what we want our identity to be here at Florida State. So. Um, you know, we you always evaluate. You always go back. It doesn't matter what the circumstance was. You're going to get you know quality information um, you know from the experiences that you have. But uh, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to this year. I'm looking forward to how those guys uh, that had to play early, how they're gonna, how they're going to continue to grow and develop. Some of the guys that we brought in that are newcomers, uh, the the versatility they bring to our defense, and and some of the personnel packages that we're going to be able to employ this year. And um, it's it's going to be fun to watch them uh, go out there and compete. Uh, Mike, uh, obviously you had a lot of great newcomers come in from this either 2021 or, or just transfers, but uh, I guess talk about the excitement level, what you've seen so far out of these guys, these newcomers, you know, particularly the 2021 class uh, with high school kids. Yeah, and that's, it's, uh, I know I talked about it a little bit in the spring, those guys that were able to get in uh, in January and, um, and we absolutely hit. And uh, it's uh, you, you always have a perspective of you know what you believe they are, um, but when they get here and you get to work with them every day, guys like Kevin Knowles, Josh Farmer, you know Jackson West, um, you know I, I could go through you know really all of them uh, that were here uh, there in the spring and, and to know I mean uh, McLean and Burrell, I mean those guys stood out as well as Estes. Um, you know it was um, it was fun to see them and how they transition. But then when you get into the summer and you see guys like Shane Brown. Wow, I mean that guy is his movements, his length. You know, um, but it's also why we relied on on uh, um, you know his high, his former high school uh, coach was Brian Allen, a former Seminole player. And uh, when he tells me, he goes, "Coach, this guy would have played with us on one of those teams." I, I tend to take a stronger look at him, and we absolutely got the right guy. And uh, you know. Uh, Marion uh, Cooper uh, has done some really impressive things here in a short period of time, just for a summer workout. Um, excited just to see how those guys get out there and compete. Jordan Eubanks is, uh, you know, he's going to be playing the linebacker position, a uh, guy that came from Texas that, you know, a lot of people didn't know a whole lot about. But, uh, you know, I've got really good relationships being from there, and that guy has really been impressive to, to our to our current players, to our staff. I mean, just, you know, the, his his body, his, the, his movements. I mean, we got guys that I, I fully believe are going to come in here and uh, be able to impact uh, this season. And it went went back to finding the best football players that we could possibly get. And uh, I think we really hit on those guys up to this point coming into fall camp. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Hi.